Uh, this demo is pertinent to our number four and number five enlargers, which are in the corner of the darkroom here. And these are Ilford multi-grade heads that are made for black and white printing. And they're probably the more, most advanced enlargers we have in our darkroom here. All right, so on the multi-grade heads, there's a power pack that has a red switch on it, and that turns it on. The timer pad is right here. When you turn it on, it will start out at five seconds at a number two contrast which is kind of an average flat contrast. You'll probably want that more at number four when you're working with Holga negatives. And um, the system of changing the timing on this is also a little strange, where if you want to go from five seconds to 13 seconds, you have to do a plus 10 and two minus ones. Um, it's kind of really early primitive Digital, digital technology. There's a focus button here which turns the enlarger light on to focus. Hit again, turns it off. And then there's an expose which will um, turn the enlarger head on, light on um, right after you hit it. There it comes off in three seconds. There's also a foot switch down here that just works off the expose uh, setting. So when you punch the foot switch, it also gives you three seconds. These enlargers also use the um, negative carriers that are hanging on the wall over here. And they, um, they're in the three basic formats, 120, 35 millimeter, and 4x5. This one's in the last place. Um, and then on the left are miscellaneous odd formats. The operation of this enlarger is basically the same as the Super Chromegas. It's the same chassis. This one corner one is unique in that it has this control for opening it up to put the negative carrier in. And it's a little counterintuitive because you push it up to go down and down to go up. And um, this has been broken many, many times from people yanking on it too hard um, over the years. So, but, you know, it's working right now. Okay, again, um, to change lenses, you push in on the silver thing, turn it, and they kind of click into place. Um, this has, this is the 135 lens. There's a very large lens on here that's very high definition that's meant for um, 120 negatives. So that might be your first choice. All these lenses have aperture dials that should go all the way from the biggest opening, which is usually f5.6, to the smallest. On this one it's f45. Sometimes they're hard to see, and some of them have features that allow you to set them up so they quickly go between two settings. So if you notice the lens isn't going through the full range, you can just like push on the ring and usually get it to do what you want it to do. So again, um, these, you have to get the bellows in the right place to match the focal length of the lens. So if this is way up here, you're not going to have enough focus to um, to be able to get things sharp. So there's a little handle here that you swing back and forth. If you swing it to the left it loosens this up and you can manually bring this lens down and then turn this to the right to lock it again. Um, and you will need to be, you'll need quite a bit of bellows here, about six inches to um, be able to focus your negative on your piece of paper. Um, similar to the Promegas, you also have this crank back here that um, allows you to set the enlarger height to match the size print you want.